Today we are looking at the Voigtlander Heliar 50mm lenses. There are actually four different 50mm Heliar designs. I'm going to show you two of them and I'll mention the other two. Spoiler alert, if you've clicked on this video specifically for the new 50mm 1.5 Helia, you will need to wait till that video comes out at a later date, but stay tuned and feel free to subscribe. In the meantime, enjoy this video and you may find you want to get the 3.5 version as well. I hope you enjoy the video. Hi guys, Matt Osborne here from MrLucker.com. Today we're looking at Voigtlander Helia lenses. Generally speaking, if you hear the word Helia, you know you're dealing with a good or extremely good lens. Examples of the lenses I have is the 15mm Voigtlander Helia Superwide. I have the 40mm f2.8 M mount, and then even medium format cameras like the Fuji GF670 that has a Helia lens design, and that is one awesome camera. And so with that said, I'm going to do a full review on the Voigtlander 50mm f3.5 Helia vintage line which is a VM mount lens or like M mount. I'm also going to show you the Voigtlander Helia 50mm 3.5 collapsible lens which is the 101 anniversary edition and then I'll give an honorary mention to the 50mm f2 collapsible 250th anniversary edition and lastly the brand new 50mm 1.5 VM. The lens on my Leica M3 is the Voigtlander 50mm Helia f3.5 Leica M mount. This is designed on the early Voigtlander lenses from the 1900s, hence it's called the Vintage line. That's why it's got a bit of a, a quirky look to it. This is a bit of a love-hate lens in terms of ergonomics. I know a lot of people have said they're not a big fan of this lens, but equally the, the optics are fantastic. So if you can put up with the ergonomics, then it's probably worth <laughs> worth considering. If I take the lens hood off, first point to note if you've seen a lot of my Voigtlander lens videos, this hood is included. A lot of the new lenses, the hoods are not included, but for this one it is included, so that's really great. So this is a, as I said, 3.5 lens design with 10 aperture blades, and it is de-clicked or has no clicks, so for those doing video, this would work for video. In terms of changing the aperture, the aperture ring is on the very front of the lens and then your focus ring is set further back. This lens will focus from 0.7 meters to infinity. This is a modified Lycra M3 so this will also focus to 0.7 meters. So for me this is a really nice, really nice combination. This is a multi-coated lens as you can see by the reflection and the 10 blades give nice round bokeh balls. The lens has the classic three elements in five groups design and I think that is what helps this lens and its strong performance. I'll show you some example photos in a little while. If I take the lens off for a second you can see as mentioned this is like an M mount design and this is all kind of metal and glass manual focus range finder coupled. Uh, very smooth and no different to the smoothness and build of Leica lenses that I use. The weight of this lens is 209 grams which is 7.37 ounces and as you may have noticed the front of this lens is very very small. This has a 27mm filter thread which is not so common. I'll show you two scenarios that you can use for filters. Option number one is look hard on eBay and try and find yourself a 27mm filter. I found this vintage yellow 27mm filter so this is my go-to setup. And it's really nice because you can just screw in the hood on top of the filter like so. So for black and white photography that's my kind of my go-to setup. If you cannot find a 27mm filter the other option is to use step rings. So I got two step rings. I've got a 32.5 to 37 and then a 37 to 39. Now strangely although the lens is advertised as 27mm the 32.5 filtering attachment works and then I can use standard 39mm filters which are much more common and I also sometimes use this as a mini lens hood instead of the the original lens hood because it makes the lens a, a more compact setup and when I'm in transport I even manage to get myself a 27mm lens cap like that <laughs> and it's almost matching the body so <laughs> if you if you geek on things like this so yeah uh, eBay lens cap really useful if you're not using the hood. I don't notice this lens flaring easily so personally I don't worry about the, the lens hood too much. So in terms of price you can pick up the current version of this lens which is the 3.5 VM for around £485 in the UK. Then if you buy from Robert White if you use the discount code Mr Leica you'll get 5% off. 
If you're not in the UK, you can buy them on Amazon for $529. Optically, I find this lens to be really sharp and good contrast, minimum flare, and just really high resolution images. So I've had no complaints. The only people that this may not suit is people looking for the fast lenses and kind of the super shallow depths of field. Let's have a look at some example photos shot on digital cameras to give you an idea of what this lens can actually do. You can see it's got really good contrast, very sharp, and I use the VM lens at 0.7 meters for most of my portraits. It is really, really sharp, so unless your model has perfect skin, maybe better to use maybe more vintage lenses or softer lenses. But if you have good skin, it is fantastic. Stay with me until the end of this video and I'll include film portraits also shot with this lens. So just to recap, so this is a VM 53.5 on a Leica M3, which is M mount. This is a 53.5 screw mount on a Leica 2F red dial screw mount camera. These two lenses are optically identical. However, this screw mount version is collapsible, if you can see that. So this makes it a more compact setup. Another difference with the screw mount version is it only has a close focus distance of one meter rather than 0.7 meters for the M mount version. Other than that, the lens is very similar. It has a similar design hood, except it's silver rather than black. The design of the aperture ring is slightly different on the screw mount version and it's slightly quirky. It's got this kind of, it's, it's clicked rather than non-clicked and it has half clicks. If you can hear that. And the front of the lens does turn as you turn the, the aperture ring. And then in terms of focusing, you have a focusing knob on the screw mount version, similar to the old Leica lenses. Whereas on the M version, there is no focusing knob. So this is a really nice lens. In terms of where this lens comes from, it doesn't actually originate on the Leica 2F, even though this is kind of my go-to setup. Let me introduce you to a third camera. So the 53.5 is actually the Besser T Helio 101 Anniversary Edition. So this lens originally came on this camera. I bought this camera partly to get this lens. So this is a Besser T 101 Anniversary uh, range finder camera. There you can see the, the design. Strangely, this is like an M mount. So when you buy this camera, you'll get a like a screw mount to like an M mount adapter. And then that allows you to use the collapsible lens on the, the Besser T camera. So I guess top tip for me, if you're looking to buy the screw mount lens, so you use screw mount cameras, look at buying a Besser T anniversary edition on eBay. And that may be a cheaper way to buy the lens. If you buy the lens on its own, it works out more expensive than if you buy it with a camera. That's the way I did this anyway. Okay, so those are the two 3.5 visions. Just to recap, the VM version you can buy in the shops today. The collapsible version you cannot. You need to hunt on eBay to look for that. And now here are a few example photos shot with the screw mount version of the lens. I use this more of a walkabout lens, so the photos are probably less exciting than my portraits, depending on what you enjoy. But I've not really had a huge amount to travel yet with this lens because of COVID and things like that. If you're just looking for a small 53.5 lens, it's definitely worth considering the Leica Elmar 53.5 that I've already reviewed. And then if you see my comparison video, you'll see Indostars versus Leica versus this Voigtlander lens, just to give you an idea of how the lenses compare both in design and optically. And then as promised, there are two more Voigtlander Heliar 50mm lenses. There is the Voigtlander Heliar 50mm f2 collapsible lens, which was released in 2006 with the Voigtlander Besser R2M and R3A 250th anniversary cameras. Now the 50mm f2 Summicron is collapsible, the same as my 53.5, and the design is closer to that of the collapsible 50mm f2 Summicron. The 50 f2 Heliart was made in really low numbers, so those are quite rare lenses, and also you pay a big premium because very few of those lenses were made. I believe it was only around 2,000 lenses were made. And then to finish, last but 100% not least, probably one reason you may have clicked on this video, is the fourth 50mm Heliart, brand new Voigtlander Heliart 50mm 1.5 VM lens. This was only released on the 10th of September 2021, so this is like super duper brand new. Uh, at the moment, the UK stockist Robert White 
are showing as out of stock, but they're listing for £629. If you want me to do a full detailed review of that lens, as I've done with the 35 Apo, the 51.2, the 51.5, the 28 f2 Ultron version 2, and all my other Voigtlander lenses, if everybody watching this video takes two seconds and hits the like button, if we can get 400 likes, I'll speak to Voigtlander and I'll see if they'll send me the, the 51.5 Classic. If I can get the lens, as I say, I'll do a full test and then you'll know whether or not you should buy that lens. And as promised, here are the bonus photos, some Voigtlander Helia photos shot on film. These first few are shot with the Voigtlander Besser T. Now these are with the Leica M3 before I broke the M3. This is evidence of the M3 in action of the day that I burnt a hole in the shutter. These are now example photos of the M3 with a hole in the shutter, as you may have seen in that video. But these will shot the hell yeah, and I still do love the photos. And as a bonus, here is one film photo shot in colour. If you want to see more Voigtlander lens reviews, feel free to subscribe. And as always, a massive thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.